Avengers. Um, this is 7 Ninja, and today we're going to be talking about Hulk Loot 2.0. This is just my concept. No, this isn't official, um, but hey, maybe they'll use it, right? So let's start off with his rage. For rage, I was thinking the lower your rage, the more damage reduction you receive. So just like, you know, you run out of like your rage energy, right? Well, you're supposed to be a tank, so you need to be able to take some damage. So it's like, while you're down out of rage energy, right? Um, you'll have like some, uh, you'll just have a beefier defense for like a couple seconds. Um, number two of rage, auto rage regenerator. So like, most characters have the ability to um, just regenerate their intrinsic. But for Hulk, I was thinking, what if, because I want him to stay in movement, right? I want him to stay in motion. So while he's moving, he's going to build up rage. This way you're not just standing around and Hulk's just becoming tanky from standing around. No, he's got to actually move to do that. That also gets applied when he's uh, mailing something, whatever. But he also gets that in general from just, um, you know, attacking. Uh, third part of Rage. Apply melee status off gear within Rage, like um, Black Widow's and Heavies. So, like, just in general, well, you have to pop your Rage. Um, the best way to explain it, right? So... When I said, um, like Black Widow, think about it like, uh, she has heavies that have the ability to apply shock. Well, what if you had the ability, whenever you're holding your rage, to apply whatever's on your melee? So for mine, it's gonna be, like, my cosmic energy. Um, it could also be, like, pin particle, whatever. Or even cryo, if they ever decide to put that on there. But, um, I wanted a way for Hulk to be able to pull out his other intrinsic energy ability without having to go into his heavy smash. Alright. Um, a fourth thing we can do, um, all initial raid channels cha uh, taunt enemies. So it's like, when Hulk does his, like, roar at the start of his rage, like, every time you hear me pop it, he always does this initial rage, and it uses, like, some, a certain amount of intrinsic energy. So what if whenever you do that, whatever's in your radius, right, um, it doesn't have to be too big, but I'd imagine anything that here, here's Hulk, right, is going to be taunted by him. So you pop it. Hulk's mad, and you taunt every enemy around you. This does not do damage to them when you taunt them. It's just a, a grabber, right? Um, the fourth thing I want... Oh, that was the fourth thing right there. The fifth thing I wanted to put on Rage is that people have been talking about Hulk needs to move faster, so what if we made it so that Hulk can move faster and jump higher as long as he used Rage energy? So it's like it's your initial pop of your Rage... Um, could be you done when you're trying to run around so like you pop your rage to run around you'll run around faster uh, You pop your rage to jump higher so when you'll just do an, do like an initial pop whenever you're about to jump every time um, It'll be a matter of timing for you. Yes, but it's something it'll be better right to give us a way to move faster because it's kind of like I'll put it like this so Hulk, and, not Hulk, but uh, Thor and Iron Man have the ability to have something like Afterburner. Iron Man's called Afterburner, I forgot what Thor's is called. But they both have the ability to do that, but they have to use their intrinsic energy. Well, Hulk can do that too, right? Let's just let's make him use his Rage Bar to do that. Um, his will be more or less, though, just like he'll tap it whenever he's uh, jumping, and if he wants to run faster, he'll just have to hold it. Um, and the last thing for Rage... While holding large debris, channeling rage allows Hulk to block with it. So just in general, right, like um, he has a shield in front of him. Um, I'm thinking the large debris should be able to take just like maybe three to four hits, right? Um, just using rage alone, no special everything else. Like just using rage alone, I think Hulk should be able to just hold his large debris in front of him like when he's dodging forward. And um, he can just shield with it. Now, it won't be the same as when you're dodging forward because your dodge debris doesn't break like that. But when you're just sitting there, I expect it is going to, um, I expect the debris to break apart at, at some point. Number two, grabbed weapons. So, what I mean by that, rocks and enemies. There's going to be a lot of times in this game right now where you're not always going to have enemies around, but you can pick up a debris at any time. So why not just make it a neutral term and allow your uh, Hulk to be able to use this armor piece on both your debris and your enemies. Um, that's what I mean by grabbed weapons. Now, for number one grabbed weapons, uh, weapons on hit apply a small status AoE Nova. So, in a sense right now, they kind of do that, but I would say it's still direct damage, it's just Hulk swinging them around. What I'm saying is, it shouldn't be a damage Nova big, but it needs to be at least half of that big. So, like, it'll be more um, useful to hit enemies with debris and hit enemies with, um, you know, other enemies. 
Um, number two of thrown weapons. <clears throat> thrown weapons do more damage the longer it takes to hit the ground or a target. Um, so just like it either does more direct damage or it does more AOE damage. So just like let's say you throw a like right now we kind of got it now where it's like you know you throw a debris and it explodes. Well, I'm saying the longer it takes to hit the ground, the more uh, damage that AOE or direct hit's going to do. Um, however they decide to cap it, however they decide to cap it. Um, another idea I had for, um, and this will be number three for grabbed weapons, is you're able to pick up larger enemies. So think of those, like, not the spider tanks, but the scorpions. And think of the exos. I feel like you should be able to pick those guys up um, with if you have a specific gear piece for picking up enemies. Um, number four... You can use debris like a boxing gloves for five hits. So think of like um, I think it's like Hulk Total Destruction, where you can pick uh pick up a car and use those boxing gloves. But what if instead of um that, because right now we don't have that ability, you could use um small debris and put them on your hands and just start boxing with them. And so it would be like five hits. Um, if you're doing like your double heavy, I wouldn't say that the um the rocks I wouldn't say the rocks would stay on your hands because you're doing a double heavy you know how he does the like ground the ground earthquake or small earthquake move but like let's say if you're doing that right it just amplifies that damage and maybe throws the rocks off your hands at your enemies while you're doing the uh let's call it earth shaker um other than that that's it for grabbed weapons okay number three bone shaker so for Bone Shaker, I had a few, like, it's kind of generic, but um, I kind of thought, like, well, it's got to be better than what we got. Alright, so increased aggro range. So whenever I do Bone Shaker, yeah, you're going to have your initial explosion that it does, but I want it to hit further out. Remember, I'm playing Hulk, so these guys are already scared of me. But if I was yelling louder, and think about it this way, they don't have to do more damage, right? Bone Shaker doesn't have to cause um, your initial taunt. To do more damage no bone shaker only needs to have the ability to for, it, you only need to have the ability to hear hulk to be uh, we need to go after him all right that just needs to be something that happens you don't have to have do more extra damage on your bone shaker for that to happen though right so i'm thinking if anything hulk should just have increased aggro range um number two if you pop bone shaker and let's say let's say you're um you're iron man or whatever and you're like maybe you're in a your hulk buster right so you decide uh or hulk said decides to tell you hey i'm about to pop bone shaker and you when you're nearby hulk and he pops his bone shaker let's say you're in his aggro range right um you get a damage reduction yourself so it's like a damage reduction on your allies that are nearby not nearby in a sense of like a giant hive room but nearby in a sense of um I would say, um, so the animation you have for whenever you're taking down one of those scorpion, to, uh, scorpion bots, right? The uh, animation range they do, let's say Iron Man's flying around animation, right? Because he, he spins in a circle around on some of them. Um, that range is as far as you ha as far as you can be to get that defense buff. Um, number three, a bone shaker overcharges allies intrinsic at the cost of your own so let's say um you pop bone shaker right you just want to be a, a more of a supportive hulk well you pop bone shaker you don't get to use the overcharge yourself like it doesn't go to you at all but it gives your uh your teammates the ability to have that so black widow gets more shadow ops um thor gets more odin force although thor doesn't need it iron man has the ability to have more raw whatever energy he has Kamala has more polymorph energy, you know, just something like that. And you just overcharge them for, like, roughly three to four seconds. Maybe even five. Um, now, number five of Bone Shaker. Apply status from melee gear while active. So, you basically, once you pop Bone Shaker, I'm still trying to hone in on the idea of, um, so, like, Kate Bishop, she has that on her teleports, teleport attacks. Well, I'm thinking, right, for Bone Shaker, right, you pop it. It's a special move. You can't do it all the time. And you basically just have, for the period of time that you're in your uh, Bone Shaker uh, buff, you are able to apply on both light and heavy attack. And, well, really any attack that's a melee, right? You have the ability to apply whatever that status is on your melee to your enemies. Alright, number five. Adds durability to weapons. So, rocks 
any debris has the ability to um, have more defense so like you can't break as easily and enemies are, have the ability to like take less damage actually less damage than that perk that is in your skill tree because there is a perk for that it's just garbage um yeah so that's it for bone shaker let's get on to str uh, stranglehold stranglehold so number one for stranglehold would be increased dash distance i'm thinking maybe like you have your initial dash distance then like your Increased dash distance would just be like a half of your original stranglehold. Um, number two of stranglehold. Enemies nearby get knocked back if not picked up. So basically, if you didn't pick up an enemy along the way, right? Um, you basically just you pick them up, or if there's enemies around that enemy that you picked up, you're going to be hitting them along the way. And maybe you could do like a clothesline animation so you could just hit everything along the way. Um, one of the other ideas I had was that. Hulk could be able to pick up two enemies at the same time instead of smashing them the normal way he picks them up like he's uh, just doing a grab move to pick up enemies so something like that um, <coughs> if you're holding large debris you rush forward with um, the apply applying the range status while you're doing that so right now when you're dodging with the large debris you kind of just like you can still apply your large debris uh, energy it's just that you don't move far. Well, what if you if you were holding your large debris, you didn't just lose your rock, you, you charge forward with it. So it still have the ability to do the knockback, right, if you're, if you're still allowed to do that. Um, but you'd also be able to apply um, your status more directly. Next we have Hulk can slam shielded enemies and heavy enemies. So Hulk's going to be able to slam the shielded enemies. Right now you can't grab them or stranglehold them. And Hulk's going to have the ability to stranglehold a scorpion exo or just an exo like, you know, mech body suit looking thing. He's going to have the ability to do both of those. So right now he's able to do that while he's uh when they don't have a shield but i'm saying like it does true damage like it actually attacks them through the shielding um next we're gonna have hulk it gives hulk a movement buff after a string hold for a few seconds so after you do like um your strangled hold like, like it's pretty much verbatim but after you do your strangle hold you're like Think of it as Hulk, he's like, he's still in rage, he's still angry, so he's like, alright, I'm going straight after my next target, um, and he just bum rushes that enemy. This is when he gets his movement buff. Hulk's, necessarily Hulk isn't slow, but Hulk's not slow when he's jumping. Hulk is slow when he's just running around, especially compared to everyone else. But I'm thinking, like, just give Hulk the ability for a few seconds to move faster, um... To maybe attack another enemy, or at least for him to be able to get in the way for a bullet or something. Uh, last for Stranglehold, can increase Thunderclap's damage. So anyway, it's kind of like a buff. Think of like Slag from Borderlands, right? Like, you hit him with a Stranglehold, it does some kind of weakening damage that only applies to like a specific move. And so it's like, you, thun you, you Stranglehold him, right? hits whatever enemies is in the area, knock up some enemies, and then you pull a thunderclap. Well, in thunderclap, you pull enemies towards you. So he pulls them in and he claps, and he does extra damage because he just strangleholded them originally. It's like a, it's like a debuff applying a, a debuff and then applying more damage because of that debuff, basically. Thunderclap. So thunderclap, I was thinking, uh, number one. Gamma Auras causes enemies to float in place. So right now, if they walk into the uh, Gamma Aura, they just like, well, they got hit and they take some Gamma damage. I'm thinking, all right, if an enemy decides to charge in at me, it's just going to start floating in the air while my da my Gamma Cloud is up. Um, I was thinking that f and for number two of uh, the Gamma Aura, or for Thunderclap, you would have the ability to build up more Gamma status on your enemy. So whatever enemies in that area, right, this could be um, away from the floating enemies, but they just take more gamma damage or gamma um, building st status energy, right? Um, number three, gamma aura can be turned into whatever your melee status is, otherwise it defaults to gamma. So it's like, let's say um, right now Hulk's got some gear right now, right, that has like no status is what whatsoever so he'll just apply a regular gamma energy but like Thor who has the ability on his ultimate to have a uh, cloud of cryo 
fire and like uh, I think it's like electricity. I could be wrong. Oh, healing, healing. Well, I think it's still electricity. But there's healing too, right? During that time, right? Hulk should be able to do that as well, but on a gear piece. And so he'll be able to apply, like, let's say, like, plasma, maybe pin particle, maybe a uh, cosmic energy. And so the cosmic will even help out the teammates as well. Um, this also plays into the idea of a more supportive tank, right? So it's just like adding more ways to support without actively um, taking anything away from Hulk. Uh, new status, right? So, remember, it's Hulk, right? You know, Hulk's the scariest thing there is. So, what if we had the ability to cause fear? Um, not, you lose aggro. More like, they run away from you. Alright, um, the closest thing I can remind you to, um, there's a game called Paladins right now. They've got a character called Maldamba. And Maldamba, when he pops his ultimate, it causes enemies to run away from him. So I'm thinking, right, like, um, Hulk thunderclaps, and enemies start just sprinting away, away, right? Something like that. It's, they don't attack your uh, teammates because they're frightened during this time. And maybe they could add a debuff to frighten the enemies. Like, that's just the status that you could have. And then maybe we could have something like, um, um, this is hearkening to, like, an invisible character. Um, an invisible character can cause fear status, but they have to do it from stealth, right? Uh, like this is about Hulk right but th just the idea of a fear status right could be something that can be caused by Hulk as a um how scary Hulk is in general and that uh, coming off of his thunderclap or whatever is in range and then like fear status as in things that can be caused to only specific heroes uh last thing for thunderclap so right now Hulk the uh, Hulk pulls in enemies right now right well I'm thinking right Hulk has the ability to pull in more. So it's like they get sucked in a little bit normally when you're doing Thunderclap. But I'm like, okay, I kind of wanted them to just like jet over to me. Like get fully sucked in so that whenever I do my Thunderclap, I want them to official feel the initial damage from my actual slap. And then feel the initial damage from my wave of energy. Um, so that's it for Thunderclap. Uh, now we're gonna get on to mis miscellaneous. So it's kind of like you know just random ideas I had out there, uh, especially during the end. Um, but I may end up doing a part two to this just because, I, well, you can always think of new loot ideas, right? So miscellaneous heavy melee has extended range. So right now when Hulk does his like uh, heavy melee r uh, power, he just pretty much slams the ground like like I think it's like four or five times. What I was thinking, right, is that. You just, they increase the range of your slam. Each slam, every hit of your slam, it just increases the range of the AoE. Um, number two of miscellaneous. Debris don't break unless thrown. Um, this does not have to work with um, what I talked about with grabbed uh, debris slash weapons. doesn't have to work with that, per se. But it's like, just in general, right? Your debris don't break unless they're thrown. So right now, it kind of works like that now. You can glitch it out with your large debris where it doesn't break sometimes. But I'm talking not only uh, not only small debris, but large debris should not break unless they're thrown. Um, another idea I had was that high jumping sucks enemies in fr um, from jump point. So it's just basically like you do a sprint jump like you've already done your initial jump and then you jump up well when you jump up hulk pulls in whatever enemies are in this uh his surrounding area close to him and so then while he's in midair and i, I think this uh, should go along with it but let's say they don't decide to do that um when he's landing from a high jump he does aoe damage now this can stack with his um heavy melee power it's kind of like a um a buff to his falling or his gravity slam right um so it's just like it would like i said this is just miscellaneous i may have more ideas for a part two one day but until then um thanks for watching this video and i'll probably end up doing one on another character i play um i just don't know who that'll be so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time goodbye